Okay, now if you remember when Samsung released One UI 6 Beta, they introduced a brand new feature called multi-user accounts, using which we can set multiple different users on the Samsung Galaxy phones. This was quite an exciting and useful feature which they introduced. This works something similar to multi-user accounts on the PCs. Now for some reason, Samsung did take this feature down and after that they never brought this feature back. Now maybe on One UI 7.0 this feature may come back, we are not really sure about that. There's no rumors or information about this feature landing on One UI 7, but I'm still hoping that Samsung would bring this feature back. Now, I just wanted to refresh your memories. I want to show you guys how exactly this feature works. This is currently available on the Google Pixel phones as well as Samsung Galaxy tablets. Yes, we do have multi-user on the tablets, but not on Samsung Galaxy phones. Now, many people may argue that there is already a secure folder on the Galaxy phones. Why do we need a multi-user accounts? Now the thing here is Samsung offers multiple different ways to use the features on the Galaxy phone. For example, if you want to take a screenshot, you can take screenshots in multiple different ways. If you want to copy and paste the files inside the My Files application, you have different ways. You can drag it and drop it, or you can just copy and paste it. Likewise, there are multiple other features which offers different ways of execution. Now, some may prefer secure folders, some may not prefer it. You may want to have multiple user accounts on the Galaxy phones, maybe for yourself or maybe for multiple people at your home. So it completely depends on the user. So why not Samsung introduce this feature? After you finish watching this video, do let me know in the comment section whether you would like to have this feature or not. Now let me go ahead and bring the uh, Pixel phone here. Let me go to the settings. Let's scroll down here. Let me tap on system. This is where we can see multiple user options. Let me tap on this. Now you can see I have enabled this feature. I can disable it if I don't want it. It says share your phone by adding new users. Each user has a personal space on your phone for custom home screens, accounts, applications, settings, and more. So each user will have their own personal space where they can customize their phone. They can have different applications. They can have different accounts, settings, etc. Now that is available when you enable this feature and add a new user account. Now this is the admin account we have got and then we can tap on add new user. It says when you add a new user that person needs to set up their space. Any user can update applications for all other users. So that is something we can do. Let me just cancel this here. We also have an option called guest mode. Let me tap on add guest. It takes you to this page where you can switch to guest or remove guest. When you tap on switch to guest, it will open the guest mode on the Pixel phones. Now this is a brand new phone. It has got a brand new wallpaper. It has got a brand new set of applications. There are no new applications here. It's only the system applications you're gonna see here. And then if you swipe down the notification panel, you do not have those notifications uh, which you see on the admin account or on the primary account. So basically this offers a new space for a guest to whom you want to hand over your phone to use it. This is a very, very important feature. There will be situations when you want to hand over your phone to somebody else for use. You can just quickly open the guest mode and hand over your phone. Exiting guest mode is very simple. Just go to the quick panel. You have this notification here, exit guest mode. Just tap on that and tap on exit. You're back onto your primary account. As you can see, we have got all the notifications here and uh, we have got all the applications that we have on the primary account. So this is how guest mode works. Now let me just go to the settings again and go to system and tap on uh, multiple users. Let me tap on add a user here. I'll tap on next. I can create a new username here. Tap on done. It is creating a new user. Now here we can switch to Apex, the other account. Uh, we can enable the phone calls and SMS for that account as well or we can delete the user. Let me just switch to Apex here. It says make sure the person is available to take the device and set up their space. So in case if the other person wants to create their own private space, set the passwords and fingerprints, then uh, he or she can do that on this phone. Let me just tap on setup now. It is switching to the other account. It says the phone's owner can uninstall your applications or remove your user profile entirely. Any other user can accept updated application permissions. Only share this phone with people you trust. And then we have got vision settings here. You can customize the device to fit your needs. These accessibility features can be changed later in the settings. So a few features which we can modify before setting the other account. Let me tap on done. Now here it says getting your phone ready. This is the point where Samsung phone was getting heated up. Maybe some bug or some issue was causing that battery drain and heating while creating a new user account on the Galaxy phone. Now here, let me just skip this. Tap on more, accept, set a pin, the new user can set their PIN or password to protect their account. Let me just tap on more. 
I'll tap on agree and start. I'll do this fingerprint thing later. Now let me tap on more again. I agree. Uh, face recognition, I'll do it later. I'll skip this. No thanks. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes it says. Now there is a new account which has been set. This is a private space. The person who has set up this space can use it with their fingerprint or password. Or you can create your own private space for a second account on your phone. Now let me show you how you can switch to the primary account. Just go to the uh, no, quick panel here. At the bottom you'll see a brand new icon. Just tap on this. This is where we can select the users. I've got the primary user and the second, uh, second user which I've just set up now. Now let me just tap on the primary user. It just takes a few seconds to switch back to the primary account here. You see, it's pretty quick. And I think this is where Samsung failed to uh, execute this feature well. It was not switching the accounts quickly and there was heating issues and there was battery drain during this process. Now let me quickly show you how this works on Samsung tablets and that is how it's going to work on the Samsung Galaxy phones if we get this feature on One UI 7. All right, this is the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus we have got here with a beautiful looking wallpaper. If you're interested in this wallpaper, I will leave a link for the wallpaper application in the description. It's called Wallbyte. It has got some beautiful looking desktop wallpaper as well as the uh, home screen wallpapers for your home, uh, for your phone. And this application is free to download. There are some amazing wallpapers here with desktop wallpapers with a, with a beautiful interface as well. The transition and animation is very smooth on this application. Uh, so go ahead and download it. The links are in the description. Let me go to these settings here and tap on accounts. Accounts and backup. And this is where you will see user option on the tablets. Let me tap on users. We have the administrator or the owner and then we have got a uh, guest mode here and user profile here which works similar to the Pixel phones. Now when I tap on guest, it is creating a new guest it says. I can instantly switch to guest mode and hand it over, uh, hand over the tablet to the uh, other person who wants to use it. And he or she will not have access to any of the uh, data from your primary account or the administrator account. It's a new set of applications. All the basic applications are available and the new applications can be downloaded from the Play Store. And anything that you do will remain on the guest mode. It will not be transferred to the uh, primary account. Now to switch back to the uh, primary account, all you need to do is just go to the quick panel and on the top you will see this option here. This is your primary account icon. Just tap on that. You'll get this pop-up where you can exit the guest mode and go to the uh, primary account. Let me exit. Now this is the primary account. We just exited the guest mode. Works similar to Pixel phones and they have executed it very well on the Galaxy tablets and I'm not sure why this feature is still not available on the Galaxy phone. Like Pixel phones, we'll be able to create multiple users as well like we created the guest mode here on the Galaxy tab. Now let's hope that this multi-user feature arrives on the One UI 7. Let me know your thoughts, drop a comment. Would you like to see this feature on Galaxy phones? Do share your thoughts. Now, if you are using a Galaxy tab, you you may be wondering what case I have uh, put on this particular tablet. Now this is a case from Spigen. It doesn't cover the front screen. It only covers the back of the phone and uh, the edges like it covers on the phones. It's a rugged case from Spigen. If you're interested, I will leave a link for that also in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. And uh, we have this kickstand. We can just uh, pop this out and place the tablet on the table. And we do have this nice slot for the S Pen as well, which is completely protected inside. But of course the front side, the front glass is not protected, uh, but I don't really like the uh, flip cover on this tablet. So I bought this vegan case. Probably I'll use a sleeve to keep this safe. So that is something I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, that's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.